Hey guys, how you doing? Steve Lav here. Uh, I'm just going to do a little quick little vlog. Um, I've been working. I've been busy. I uh, just haven't really had any videos that were worth posting. So I'm not going to just put anything out there. You know, sometimes I can't run the camera or whatever, whatever the deal is. Uh, you know, sometimes I'm working on the sink, so working on stuff. And it's it's not user-friendly to, um, to, to do a video or record or whatever. So um, what's going on with me? Uh, I, I got all the small little chickens out of the basement. <clears throat> I got them out into the middle coop out there. Um, I, all the green eggs that I hatched out. They're quite the comical bunch, I'll tell you that much right now. Um, they range from nine weeks old all the way to probably, you know, like uh, two weeks. Two weeks old, some of the small ones. I All them eggs I hatched out. I'm not hatching out any more eggs. I'm just going to grow these chickens out. Um, you know, it's a straight run, so half of them are probably going to be males and half will be females. I'll keep, you no, know, I'll keep all the, most of the females and the males I'll get rid of. I'll grow them out for size and color and, uh, I'll keep a couple of them. I could use a couple of, uh, good roosters. Uh, some of my other roosters, I'm not too happy the, the way they came, uh, the way they, they are. And, um, the two pump chump there, the older guy, he's, he's starting to get up there in age. So, um, probably maybe two or three roosters I'll, I'll, uh grow out and keep but i'll keep the best of the bunch you know <clears throat> the ducks back there um five and a half months old now they're laying eggs what i found with the ducks was um they're very dirty animals compared to chickens i mean they they make a mess uh whenever they eat they have to drink water when they eat to flush the, the food down so they use a lot of water and uh their coop's a mess you know and they love to play in the mud they love to make mud and just ducks that's the way ducks are but they are laying eggs i'm getting about a dozen uh eggs a day out of the ducks and uh, i got five different breeds back there but what i found inside the coops were um i put like every three days i throw more shavings down and then every three days i'll show, throw some more shavings down so i get like a deep bedding happening and it's not as bad because if not i gotta clean that coop like every three four days get in there and scrape all that down put new sawdust down i found that throwing it on top Makes like a real deep bedding, and um, it works out good for the ducks. The chickens, not so much. Uh, they're in there kicking, and they make a, they, they they. I I think uh, every once a week on the chicken coops, I throw you know new shavings down, and then I scrape it up and, and throw new shavings down with the chickens. And doing the deep bedding with them um, doesn't work out as good because they kick it all over the place into the water as and into the food and. Uh, I found that, you know, with the chickens, that's the best thing. Um, some other stuff that's happening with me, um, I got those uh, those oil tanks that I took out of that job and uh, making burner barrels out of them. I, guess I made them kind of deep. They're going to make nice burning barrels. My other burning barrels, uh, you know, I've had them for a couple of years now, and they're pretty much, they're pretty much uh, just from all the heat and they're warped and everything from the heat. I'll do, probably do a video and show you what they look like and how I'm going to modify the new ones so they don't warp like the old ones did. Because I got them in two pieces so I can move the barrels. Um, but I am ready to start that up. And I'll probably do a video of that. The old um, <clears throat> the old oil tanks on the top. So what I did was I cut all the metal out. I cut all the, 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 the good sections of metal out. They were kind of like, you know, arched. And what I did was I, I put it on some, some flat surfaces. And I flattened it all out. Hammered it all down. Made some nice flat panels out of it. And uh, use them for projects. I always can use new, uh, nice pieces of metal for welding stuff up and stuff. Um, yeah, with that there. Yeah. A um, couple other things that's been going on. Uh, you know, the national anthem thing with all the, the football players. It kind of really, uh, really disgusts me to, to watch that because, to me, the national anthem. That's just my opinion. To me, when I when I uh, hear the national anthem, I stand up. You know, and I. The reason why I do it is for the fallen uh, heroes that died for this country. The national anthem is, uh, that's the way I look at it. And to see people kneel for the national anthem, I think that's a disgrace. I really do. That's my opinion. Um, I'll always stand for the national anthem. Um, and you got to think about all the people that died for this country, fighting for this country. And when they come back to this country, you know, from overseas, they're draped in an American flag. How can you disrespect an American flag like that? You're, you're spitting on all them, them them, people that died for this country. You're, you're just pissing on their grave. I mean, it's disgusting. Um, that's that's my thought. I had, a, I had quite a few people ask me what I thought about it. And I just think it's 
absolutely appalling um, to see it. I would never do it. I would never kneel um, to the national anthem. I don't care. You know, it's just not in my DNA. It's, it's very, 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 very um, disturbing to watch. Very disturbing. It's too bad it has to it has to come to this. I mean, it's really, really. Well, anyway, that's my opinion. Maybe I shouldn't even have brought that up. But anyway, um, like I said, I've been doing video. I've been doing uh, jobs, just no videos. So uh, as I, as I come across stuff that I can post, you know, I'll post it. But I'm not just gonna post anything that's that's just trash. So that's the deal. Uh, it's Friday afternoon, probably around three o'clock. Um, I'll post this today and. See what's going on on the weekend. I'll try to. I got a um. I got a, a nice light, uh, outside floodlight video. I got to do that somebody sent me. It's a, it's a nice big square floodlight, uh, LED type of thing. It's pretty nice. So I got to do a video on that. Maybe I'll do that this weekend. But anyway, guys. Um. Yeah. It's been a couple of days since I posted videos. I really haven't had nothing to post. I'm fine. Uh, there's nothing wrong there. I just you know I've been busy doing stuff and. You know, I got 1,800 videos. I mean, that's a lot of videos. I try to post one every day, but some days I just can't. So, uh, I do what I can. You know, if I if I ain't got nothing to post, I ain't got nothing to post. But I will I will continue to post videos as soon as I can. And uh, when I get something that's decent, I'll, I'll definitely post it. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. And, um, you know, more videos to come.